so below that in here what we will do first we will just get and set the latitude okay so in here first I'll provide the key name okay so the key name that we will choose for latitude gonna be just flat keep it simple colon and then we say position with the help of position that we just created before that's why I told you declare this as a global so we can get it right in here on the other page so in here we'll say position null check and then we say latitude it's gonna get that so write it and comma and in here now provide the key name for the longitude so LNG for the longitude in here colon and then we say with the position with the help of that we're gonna simply get the longitude it's gonna get that and set it right afterwards now we're gonna get the complete address okay and set it so all the work has been done completely so in here we will provide the key name address and in here colon and then we say complete address and also we declare this as a global that's why I told you declare it as a global so we can get it on the other page so in here we'll say complete address it is gonna just set it that right in the collection let me just show you set it that all of the data in the collection of items that I will create that's why in here we create that instant right to the firebase fire store it's gonna be right there whenever the user will select all of the images as I told you already in detail and provide all of the details in here all of the data and then the user will click upon that upload button it will just set that right in the firebase fire store that is why in here we create that instance right in the collection of items it is gonna be right there so let's move further now below this address we're gonna get the time current time so in here provide the key name time in here colon so what I'll do in here will say dead time okay as you guys can see dot now it's gonna get that in here comma and also we can just let's upload that also status and if you guys don't want to there is no need of it but I'll just upload it. status in here approve just upload that tax set it approved okay add it and comma and everything is just done now right below we will also show a flutter toast message in which we will say whenever the user will click upon that button upload we will say data added successfully so it is gonna show that message so the user can know okay so in here what we will say flutter toast then we say show toast it is gonna get that out at n semicolon and take this down in here let us give the message the message is going to be simply data added successfully okay all just fine in here comma all just good in here make the spelling right so let me just make it right from here all just fine now whenever all of the thing will be done right to this message and right after that what we will do we will simply navigate the user right towards the home screen okay because all of the pictures of a user gonna be there and with the data with it okay so right after that let's navigate the user towards the home screen so navigator dot push there we go and it's gonna take the context now we will provide the root and the root gonna be material page root okay so in here make the spelling correct there we go with the material page root and let's take this down from here so that you guys can see it clearly in here remove that builder in here we will just have that contacts and now in here let's get the user towards the home screen okay all just fine there we go this again home screen right at and semicolon all just good as you guys can see and also if it just catch any error 
so in that case what we will do is we'll say cache error in here and then we will just in here print the error you can give the name in here and then we say right in curly braces write it and semicolon and take this down from here okay now just print the arrow in here so we would we will say in here on error okay just print that now we will go right at top and just uncomment the method that we just did before as you guys can see right in here that one okay in which we just simply get the username and user number and assign it to this string type variables okay so we will uncomment that and image reference as you guys can see right in here I have created that before for testing purposes but now we don't need this so simply we will tell that and from here we will remove that image reference from here also and with this firebase oath we will add a final keyword so it's gonna be then non-changeable now what we will do if you guys just open the run and run the app let me just show you something right there so that you guys know now from here if you guys go towards the upload add screen now there's gonna be that error as you guys can see okay it simply say a document path must not be a non empty string so it's totally empty that you already we have created that before as globally right in here okay so it's totally empty as you guys can see empty string okay for now what we will do just get this down and now we are in the home screen dot dot okay so what we will do right in here we will create an init state and above the widget bell okay we will say inner straight call upon that right in here simply first let's just assign towards the UID that we just created globally and in here we will say firebase auth dot instance dot current user I'll check with their specific UID just simply assign that right in this UID so that we can get that instance for current user of Firebase auth okay with the specific UID you simply sign it in this now also what we will do we will just assign the user mail okay so in here we'll say Firebase auth dot instance dot current user null check with the specific mail dot mail okay as you guys can see that in end now we will simply just assign that Right towards the variable is going to be user email and we are about to go and just declare that as global okay let's copy that from here go towards the variable global okay in here we will just simply create that so it's going to be string type in here as you guys can see and in here we will provide string and write it and semicolon okay all just fine now go towards the home screen dot dot in here and with the email also add the null check okay so the arrow will be gone then as you guys can see now also we will just call upon that get user address so we can get the user address and also get my data in which we just simply get from the user collection the user image and username and assign to the string type variable so we have to call upon them right in the init state so it's gonna then just change the result when our app will run dynamically okay so in here let's call upon that get user address first call upon that and the other one was get my data okay also call upon that right in the in the start as you guys can see okay in here let's call upon that and write it and semicolon all just good so we are successfully done with that now we will go towards the upload at screen dot dot right in here everything is just done and we will go towards the 
that one okay now we're about to just test the app but before that we will go towards the app info as you guys can see and in here we will just open the permission for location because we're gonna get the user address so make sure to open that okay and we will go towards the app again as you guys can see okay and since we made a major change so we have to hold reload the app okay from here just hold reload the app now we will simply go towards the upload at screen dot dot there we go okay and in here we will just select some images in order to test the output so I'll go with this watch and let's select the picture one by one and make sure to select any five images right in here like I'm doing it okay all just fine now as you guys can see okay now you will go towards the next click in here now I'll enter the price item it will be one thousand dollar and also the item name gonna be let's give any name so I'll give it relax watch and the color is black and some description in here so we'll say purchase Rolex watch only for thousand dollar okay as you guys can see so we are successfully done with that now we will go ahead and click upon that upload and it will just create a collection by the name of items as you guys can see in here and it will just set all of this data in there and also it's gonna upload the images right in the firebase storage I'll just show you that first we have to just click upon that upload button there we go as you guys can see so just wait for a while it's gonna just upload the data as you guys can see data added successfully okay so in here we didn't create the design yet so that's why right on a home screen we didn't see the output in here later on right in the upcoming videos we will create a beautiful design okay and then we will just retrieve the data from the firebase and we will just set it right in here in a beautiful design manner so we have to go towards the firebase fire store and check up on that if it's uploaded data or not so open your browser and search for firebase console and open the app as you guys can see right in here now we are in the firebase okay OLX clone app so I'll go towards the firebase firestore okay that one database go towards that you will check in here as you guys can see it's working totally fine you guys can see the item collection in here okay with their document and there we go with all of the data okay for example address okay it just got that description that we enter right in the app before purchase Rolex watch only four thousand dollar with their specific ID okay image pro there is the image of a user let me just show you from here control a copy that and go towards the new tab from here now right in here paste the URL and press enter you guys will just notice okay there we go the profile and also item color was black that we just enter item model was Rolex watch item price latitude longitude post ID status approved time as you guys can see URL image 1 that we just uploaded the five images there we go with it okay URL 1 2 3 4 5 and you can check upon that so that you guys know it's working totally fine I'll just show in front of you guys okay there we go so you can check one by one and 
username is Andrew and user number is that okay and for now we have only one user okay by the name of Andrew okay and we are online by that specific user so it's working totally fine you guys can see right in here the collection items and all of the work now we will go to worthy storage and we will check there there we go it's working totally fine as you guys can see that image open that and in here we will just see it's loading there we go okay with all of the images so it's working totally fine and you guys can see that so basically that's it for this video and we will go towards the app now and you guys can see that that we just set this in here okay and everything that I just explained in detail before okay so there is no need of doing it again so basically that's it for this video right from the next video we will work further so see you in the next one